So I just arrived uh, at home and I was ready to take a shower and just relax the rest of the evening when I received a message, where are you? And I was like, oh my God, what did I forget? I forgot that I was going to the Beijing Opera today. <laughs> yeah, oops. So uh, now I'm just putting on some clothes and I'll be late, but I will run there right now. I want to show you guys the Beijing Opera. I think it's gonna be very interesting. I haven't tried, I haven't seen it before. I saw something in Chengdu, um, something similar, but still not the same. So. Let's go and have a look at the Beijing Opera. Uh, funny thing is, the Chinese Uber drivers, they always call you to ask where you're going or where you are. Instead of just looking at the map where it says where I am right now, they still call to ask. And uh, the first driver, when I said where I was going, uh, he was like, oh, I can't go there. And I was like, oh, okay, whatever. So I got another one. He called as well and asked, where are you going? And I said, that, that, that street. And I'm like, I haven't been there before. I don't know where it is. And he was like, oh, but like approximately, where is it? So I tried to tell him and now he's supposed to come in three minutes, but he's probably going to call me in like two minutes and ask, where are you? Where are you? <laughs> this is a very common thing in China. I don't know why they don't just look at the map. If anyone knows, please let me know. I would love to know, yeah? But anyway, wish me luck on this one. There's supposed to be a theater here. I'm not sure where they are hiding it, but we'll go and have a look. Fancy place. So, it just finished the Beijing Opera. You know those times when you walk into a building and you're just like, oh my god, I've been here before. Yeah, that was the feeling I had when I went into that building. And I was kind of, oh, what's the word, melancholic? I don't know, but like it was a good memory, but it also hurt inside because it's not a thing, like I don't talk to those people anymore. And uh, yeah, so it was a little both good and bad the feeling when I arrived. Anyway, so I heard inside, I couldn't find the entrance, but in the end I met the ticket guy again and he sent me to the right place. And I walked in there and I watched for half an hour, the last half an hour of the show, and it was basically just noise. I'm really sorry, like, I, I love cultural things and like I love theater and shows and stuff. But uh, whew, <laughs> this is something uh, different, yeah. I probably won't do that again, but uh, now I tried, so that's fine. And uh, yeah, I'll go back to the subway, take the subway back either. I don't know if I'm going back to the dorm or back to my friend's place, we'll see about that. I just need him to answer me, but uh, we'll see. I'm trying to fix my hair as well. <laughs> anyway, it was an experience and uh, it's nice outside. It's a clear air and it's not too cold right now. I can have my hands out and about without freezing. So that's really cool. I didn't have any food yet, dinner, so and it's already like 8.30. So I should go and find some dinner. Uh, and three dogs are humping each other. <laughs> I didn't get dinner yet and it's already 8.30, so we'll see about that first. This is like, it's funny, you know, because the hotel where the theater was, it was like super fancy, very foreignish. Like they were literally only foreigners look, watching the, um, the act. So yeah, very foreignish, but uh, then you walk down the street here and it's like super Chinese again. So 
It's so cool. Chinese is sitting outside even though, well, nobody's sitting here right now, but like they sit outside even though it's like cold, but it's not that bad right now. Oh, somebody's selling birds as well. Or maybe they just brought them to the restaurant. I don't know. I don't answer, I don't ask that many questions here because there usually is no, uh, there is no proper answer, but I'll show you guys. <laughs> And there we got the birds in front of the lion, uh, and it's a restaurant, yeah. But I think I should walk down and see here what I can find. Oh, they are sitting outside. But I don't know if it's like a restaurant where I can eat just myself. Wow, everyone's really staring at me right now. I think this is a Muslim Chinese uh, street because they are all selling here the sheep, the lamp on the street and uh, you can have the Muslim bread, the naan bread and the guy over here, he's wearing a Muslim hat I don't know what that one is called, sorry for that but I'm just considering what to eat like I can read the menu here <laughs> on this one but I'm always, I don't know, it's a really bad habit I'm always too shy to walk in alone um, it's so stupid so here it says you can have a lamp and that where the big sticks of uh, uh, meat and uh, old horse. Ah, uh, that's weird. <laughs> Maybe I'll just go for the Tao Fan, the, the Chinese, uh, the rice, <laughs> the fried rice, sorry, yeah. I should go in, but there's smoking inside. I don't know if I want to. <laughs> this is uh, definitely the Chinese uh, western part, the western part of China uh, from Xinjiang. You can see the Arabic up there and then these are all, um, they really like the xiao kao, the barbecue, so I'm just reading here what I want to eat and then he's gonna grill it over here and uh, the chef, he's standing beside me talking in his phone while he's looking at uh, what I'm doing. Yeah. So yeah, I'm still standing here, the laban is coming now, he just went to pick up uh, the meat on the other on the other side he's still talking in his phone and uh, I think now he's gonna start cooking here in his little kitchen it's really cool very interesting <laughs> yeah I like this vibe I like that you can go from super fancy Beijing to super not fancy Beijing this is literally like a small village uh, when you just walk down the road and as I said you know I just came from the main road where it's like super fancy and modern and for all the terrace and then you just walk down here and everything is in Chinese everyone is staring like they've never seen a, a foreigner before like you can see all the trash here in the back it's really ugly it's a mm. and uh, yeah wow that's a beautiful view here just became friends with the guy who made my uh, um, yang rou here and we have the nang the bread which is also super delicious um, very dirty but or like dirty atmosphere. I'm just sitting on a small chair. You can't even see it here, a small chair. Just having my yang rou, my um, chuar here. Super cheap though, like this one is six kuai and uh, these each is like two kuai, so yeah. It's approximately 15, 16 kuai, I think, so that's cool. I just love, 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 love China. This is amazing. I was just, um, you know, sitting there with the barbecue guy and talking to him, and he is the Huizu, the Muslim minority here in China, and he is from a place called Xining in uh, Qinghai, which is the western part of China. Super interesting place where I haven't been yet. So I was like, in the end, before I was leaving, I was like, can I please add your WeChat? And he was like, oh, that's a cute dog. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, of course. And I said, I really want to go there, actually. I said, I'm going to come next uh, year in June. And, uh, and then I'm going to call you. And he was like, yeah, just call me. I'm going to be your guide. And I said, I like horses. So 
I assume that if he's not there, he's going to set me up with his uh, family members and then I'm going to have a, a blast with a Chinese family. Somebody's spitting in the back, both a lady and a man. Delicious. Anyway, I am full now after eating and talking for half an hour and I'm going back to my friend's place because I feel like it. Still, I didn't tell you guys anything about the dorm situation, but uh, I had a bit of a uh, discussion or conflict, not discussion, a bit of a conflict with one of the other girls in our apartment and we're moving on uh, Wednesday, so I thought that I would just stay with my friend here for a few days. Oh my god, why is everyone spitting when I'm filming? <laughs> this is a really, like, they don't do that everywhere. It's only the old, like, Shushu and I, the uncle and aunties, they do that, but, like, the young people don't. So, sorry for that. I'm just in a very local area, apparently. <laughs> but anyway, I had a conflict with one of the other girls, um, so I just needed to get away for a bit, because I don't want, I don't like to make more trouble. I don't like to make trouble in general, but... Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, not important. Um, yeah, just trying to find the metro now. And uh, just want to say thank you guys for watching this little video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that you love China when you see what's going on here. I think it's amazing that I just made a plan with a barbecue guy <laughs> about visiting his family next year. Anyway, you never know if it's gonna happen or not, but it could be really fun actually. So, I just arrived at the metro, yeah. So, have a nice day or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you again soon. See ya, and bye-bye. Uh,